show you how you can create mermaid hair with medium length short type hair. <laughs> a year ago I got this mermaid wand. I actually saw it online when I was rolling on Instagram and you know when ads just pop up and they seem to be perfect for what you're looking for? Well, I got sucked into getting one of these mermaid wands. First things first, oh yeah, it comes with a protective glove. That is a must. You have to put it on because it is really hot. There are different settings. So I usually have it at around 200 degrees. Oh, I just like it the hotter the better. I feel like I can clamp it on a bit longer. I like to section my hair into top and bottom. So I'll start with one side. Oh, actually, <laughs> Since we're starting on that side, I'm going to change glove hands. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Basically, you just grab a section of your hair. Now, I have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So if you have thicker hair and longer hair, this will look absolutely stunning. When I had hair extensions, it actually looked amazing. Step one, you can see when you clamp it, there's three big prongs. Try not burn yourself. I have burnt myself many, many times. I like to clamp it just a little bit. So I'll give myself some space here and I just, you just clamp it and then you hold it. Just clamp and hold. Pretty much that's it. <laughs> Make sure that the setting is fully heated up because sometimes I find that if it's not fully heated up, it will not get the results straight away. So when I'm starting to do, when I'm starting to mermaid my hair, this side will be a little bit more like messy, relaxed, like not really fully mermaid. Whereas this one will be like this beautiful wave and I'm like, oh, okay, I see. So you just kind of want to go down, clamp it and pull it down. Like clamp down, lift, clamp down, lift, clamp down. <laughs> And then what I like to do for extra mermaid, I like to sort of see how I give it a bit of bounce just to keep that momentum happening. And then, yeah. So that's the beginning part. It actually looks a lot better when I do the top section of my hair. The base is usually not as wavy but it does get better. So stay tuned ladies, stay tuned for the end results. You can see here, I'm just clamping. And this hand here um, is really important to wear your glove because when you hold it and grip it with your strong hand, my right hand, you, you might need to touch it to play around with your hair a little bit. So always wear the glove. It literally takes like a second. So sometimes in my head, I might count, I'll count five seconds. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's super easy. Oh, see, I can already tell that's going to be a nice wave here. Look at that. Look at that wave already. So three, two, one. Okay, look, that wasn't as nice as I anticipated, but it will get better. Just wait for it. my gosh, this is not working out for me right now. Ba, 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 ba. Putting my hair up is actually the longest part of this whole tutorial. Just some really important tips. See how I'm using the glove to protect my neck? This part especially because I find that it's closest to my body and my skin. <laughs> I have to protect it. So I'll just nicely hold the glove over. So yeah, and if you're interested, I am wearing my Kmart maxi skirt, which I just bumped in closed the drawer, and a cotton on crop top, which is new that I got the other day. So it's a very beautiful spring casual attire. So going back to the mermaid hair, I'm sort of just continuing to clamp, clamp, clamp down and think about it for a couple of seconds before letting go. Oh, I love this part. So this part is a lot thicker and usually the results are a lot nicer because it's on the top of my head. Oh, did I just turn that off? No, I didn't. 
All right, all right, all right. You ready? So, hang on, I'll turn this way. Clamp it and then let go. The, the prongs kind of go, they're, they're like a wave. So that's why you achieve the results. Oh, I keep pressing the button. What does that say there? Oh, off. <laughs> it's back on now. Actually, that's one thing that really annoys me about this wand is that the buttons are very, very easy to press because if you hold your hand here, it's so light that you can, um, yeah, turn it off and on or turn the volume up or turn it down. Volume, <laughs> like temperature volume. So again, we're gonna clamp it. And also the thicker the section, the more area that's gonna create, the more messy wave it's gonna create. And then the smaller the section, the nicer, like the tighter sort of mermaid curl it's going to be. I actually love, love clamping and seeing like the color of my hair. <laughs> There's just something so pretty about color and I love the two tones of like the brown and the blonde. I don't know. It's just so therapeutic. There's just something about hair straightening and curling that just oh, makes me zen out and that's why music's really cool because usually right now I would be listening to a podcast or an upbeat song or whatever sort of mood I'm vibing in the day, I would be doing that along with it. Okay, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Oh yeah. I'm so happy that you can see this. And look at the glimmer, like look at that beautiful shine. Ah, oh, love it. All right, so the pretty part can be sort of tricky. I actually play around with this depending on my mood. So, Again, I never go too tight to my face because I do like that natural sort of wave, just like, you know, I woke up like this kind of vibe. Like for this particular one look today, I'm doing a bigger fringe look. And then I'm gonna blend it all in at the end. But sometimes I'll split it up into like two little sections and then I'll make it even more of a wave. So it just depends on what I'm feeling for the day. Oh, so. How's life? What's going on in your world? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this look so far. Oh, that's such a vibe. Anyway, we're not done yet. We're going to finish up on the other side and then we will properly play around with it. You getting that? You see that? How's that? Oh, it's really hard to sort of film and look in the mirror. But yeah. Bumping the wave, clamping it down. Mm. Another thing that I also find when I'm doing my hair, or even like my makeup, it's my most creative time of the day. So I'll be thinking and planning what I could do next, or what am I gonna do today? Like what task have I got on? So that's why I find it so therapeutic because I actually get a lot done when I'm just sitting here thinking. <laughs> It's also the same with cleaning. I actually love cleaning, especially dishes. I actually really love cleaning the kitchen. And I just find that something about cleaning just helps my creative juices. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, like, I feel like half of it's wavy and then the back of it's not really wavy, but meh, it is what it is. And I know that this is gonna be a beautiful look. So this is what I was talking about. So sometimes like I'll split it into two or I'll just clamp the one. So let's do, I'll split it into two and that way you can sort of see the effect on both sides of my face. Nearly done, nearly done. Clampy, clamp, clamp. So yeah, so see how I sort of push it up? I just sort of help that heat to stay a little bit more into my wave so that it gives it a bit more volume. And then we'll play around with that at the end. This part I'm not much of a big fan about because now we're getting even smaller and we're getting closer to my face. I'm just gonna push it away from my face. Oh, look at that, it's like a little baby hair. This one will be super quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm just gonna hold a little bit longer because I really wanna get that result. One, two, three, and done. Oh, that's a bit messy, but that's okay. 
That's why they invented brushes. All right, ladies, now we are done. I love it. I honestly feel like I'm about to go to the beach and it's like, oh, what this? I just woke up like this. So what I like to do now is actually give it a little bit of sea salt spray, which gives me that beachy sort of, <laughs> when it doesn't get in your mouth, vibe and sensation. And it has a bit of grit. So sea salt spray is so much better than hairspray. I actually hate hairspray, but sea salt spray, I find that it just still gives that result, but just softer on my hair. And yeah, from here now, you can see I can play around with it. You can brush it out, make it neater. I tend to go for that real messy beach wave and um, kind of just like rock that style, you know? <laughs> Another cute way is you can always pin your hair back as well. So you can see that I have a shorter section up the front. So I will usually pin my hair up like this and that's really cute or even in like a top knot bun and then I'll just make that go wild like a jungle girl. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Ladies, gives you that curl. Now I just want to reference something. The box. When I first got this, I thought, oh my gosh, that is stunning. I'm going to look exactly like this. Like it's, <sighs> the thing is, everybody's hair is totally different. What you see on like models will not look like that on you. And you've got to make it work for your, your look. You've got to make it work for just you in general and your lifestyle. And you just got to love like, how it turns out and play around with it. So that's why I suggested two different styles. Technique is really important as well. On the box, it does sort of tell you how you can create different looks. I've tried it and to be very honest, it still ends up looking like this. I'm sure there's a way that I can sort of flip this out a little bit more, but just as a very overall quick guide on showing you how it works and the basic styling look, this is the outcome. I personally love it because I have flat, dead straight hair and I love anything that gives me a little bit of oomph and for my styling, if I'm going for that boho, sort of relaxed, beachy, effortless look, this is the hairstyle that I'll go for. Hopefully that helps a little bit. So yeah, again, I got this from Mermaid Hair. I'll add all the links and descriptions down below. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you comment down below if you learned something new, that's it. I'm actually going out today, girls. I'm going out for the day and yeah. Actually, just quickly, I'll show you what it looks like brushed out. <sighs> Brushing it out makes my hair go fluffy, <laughs> like a lion. Like just picture a lion face on me right now. Wow. Oh, I should turn around and see what, I actually don't know what the back looks like, but that's the back. I'm hoping it looks cool. I'm picturing it to look like a mermaid right now. But in reality, I feel like it's not gonna be like the box. But that's okay because, oh, we're just trying to keep it relatable here. 